This video outlines how to start up and set up the Sherman & Riley Duck Dog E Plus underground puller. Before starting up, perform all pre-operation inspections. Be sure to read and understand the instructions in the operator's manual before operating the machine. The power shutout must be turned to the on position. The Duck Dog E Plus is an electric puller designed to exceed the expectations of all day use with quiet, smooth, electric precision. The Sherman & Riley Duct Dog E Plus has a maximum pulling capacity of 7,500 pounds in a compact unit. While the Duct Dog E Plus can be operated by the system control panel, it is designed to be operated using the remote control transmitter. Before turning the unit on, ensure that all controls are in the neutral and disengaged position on the unit and on the remote. To turn the unit on, turn the master power key switch to the power on position. The system controls and key switch are located on the control box on the curbside of the machine. The control system will boot up. You'll see the Sherman & Riley logo, followed by the acknowledgement screen. Press any button to continue from the acknowledgement screen to the home screen. You can interact with the system control panel screen by pressing the desired button on the touch screen or by pressing the corresponding soft key on the right side of the control panel. Use the cursor keys on the control panel to move through the menus or change values. Once the unit is on, the operator can now turn on the remote control by pushing the toggle switch to on and then releasing it. This will initialize and power up the remote control and search for the remote control radio signal. After initialization, the remote control display will read, press start to connect. Push the on start toggle switch to start. The remote control will now connect to the machine. Information such as the watchdog indicator, battery life, and signal strength can be seen in normal operating mode. If the remote control transmitter is ever tilted or dropped, it will shut down and the system will generate a warning message. Jacks can be operated by the remote control, by hydraulic controls on the unit, or from the backup operation screen on the system control panel. After the machine is positioned, level, stable, and properly anchored and grounded, operations may begin. In case of remote control failure, a backup operation screen can be found in settings to control the jacks, boom, and real payout pull-in. Payout and pull-in can be operated from the remote or via the backup operation screen on the unit control panel. Manual hydraulics can also be operated via the controls located on the street side of the machine. To operate the manual controls, press and hold the green hydraulic enable button while simultaneously operating the control levers. To lift winch gears, from the home screen, press and hold gear shift until the button turns blue. On the unit itself, move the gear shift lever to the desired gear. Then press the gear shift button again on the control panel to exit mode. In the event of an emergency, the emergency stop button on the remote or on the unit can be used to stop all operations and shut down the machine. The Duct Dog E Plus is designed for all day electric use, and with the onboard rapid recharge system by Sherman and Riley, it's ready for any challenging exceptions or multi day pulls, with no need to plug in the unit for recharging to complete a job. Its fully articulating, self-supported, three-axis boom can be fully operated by the remote control. And the boom is equipped with an extra-large 17-inch sheave with swiveling head. A custom onboard toolbox secures, organizes, and protects the remote control, air adapters, and dies while providing extra room for sheaves or other tools. To shut down the machine, turn the on switch to off on the unit and remote. This video is not a substitute for reading and understanding the operator's manual. Thank you for choosing Sherman and Riley.